This is a recording of the Martin Luther King Jr. fill-in-the-blank reading and writing assignment after we viewed the two videos that were on today's uh, assignments, which can be found on week three, under Tuesday, January 19, 2021. After watching these two videos, one is the introduction video and then the read aloud of his biography, you go into the digital learning notebook assignment, you click into there, sign in with your student access code, which is simply your student number without an S. That's the same for your username and your password. And it is the second page. The first page we've already completed, which is the crossword puzzle. This is also due, so please make sure that you've found these key vocabulary words. You could listen to them. It will activist. Seem, there you activist. go. Activist. Activist. So you are looking for the key vocabulary words, such as January and minister and Nobel Prize. and equality, so encourage. So please make sure that you find all 15 words. They're all here, freedom, and once you and especially change. So there are all of these words that you're responsible for identifying if you click on the icon, you will hear the words that read aloud to you. Please make sure this is completed, that you understand the words. And once you're done with this assignment, please press finish and hand that in for a grade. And then we're doing page two. And page two looks like this. We're using our vocabulary words of civil rights, green, marches, a minister or a pastor, because Martin Luther King started his journey as a pastor. That was his job. He won the Nobel Prize for his peaceful protests and speeches that he wrote in the name of civil rights. The president took notice of the efforts that Dr. Martin Luther King was doing in the South to be able to make sure that everyone's dream of civil rights and equality were met. He was born in 1929, and un unfortunately, he was killed because of his beliefs. So let's go over to, let's start off with the first one. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in 1929. He lived in Georgia, which is in the South. Notice that we capitalize the South, part of the USA. At that time, that area was segregated. That means it was divided. That means that black and white people have different schools and different neighborhoods and different restaurants. The, the key vocabulary words that you need to type in here are from this statement located at the bottom of your word bank. Have different schools and restaurants and neighborhoods. Number four, Martin Luther King Jr. was the leader in a church. He was a minister or pastor. That was his title. He wanted to vote and to be treated equally. These are civil rights. Remember that these key words are found here in your word bank. So civil rights, minister or pastor, He want number six, he wanted changes, but he did not want to hurt people. He was peaceful. 
That means he was full of peace. Full is our suffix. It allows us to understand that Dr. King was full of peace. That word is located right here. Number seven, he started protests. For example, marches. Marches are an example of a peaceful protest. He did not believe in violence. We saw a lot of marches this summer on the news. The next word is number eight. Other people watched TV and saw what happened to the protesters. They learned about these problems. Number nine. The president, make sure you capitalize the T because it's the beginning of a sentence and the P president because it is a specific title. The president also saw the problems. He signed laws for more civil rights. Remember, civil rights are equal freedoms and liberties for all people regardless of the color of their skin. Number 10, his most famous speech in Washington DC was I, have a dream. Martin Luther King helped change America. He won the Nobel Prize for Peace. Some Remember to capitalize the N in Noble and P for Prize. It's one of the highest honors an individual can receive for the work of their lives. Some Americans didn't like Dr. King. He was killed in April. 1968. So remember to use your word bank to complete the sentences. Make sure you have the correct spelling. And finally, click finish for your grade. Thank you.